Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from Stylish Grease Monkey. I hope you're doing well. I did it. Today I broke down, well not today, but about a week ago, two weeks ago, I broke down and went ahead and bought myself something that's I think way out of my reach, but I've always wondered what it is or what it feels like if you buy something like that, right? All right, everybody. Hey, this is not another one of those uh, morning routine videos. I just got out of the shower. Not important. <laughs> but I want to kind of take you to the experience, initial experience of me trying on this new Iron Hearts. 21 ounces Iron Heart. Extra heavy denim. This is about the Iron Heart. Triple Six S, 21 ounce. Here's my first impression of it, from the time I got it to first wear, first day, first everything. So, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm all over the place with it right now because I'm so excited. I wore it today. Got a lot of shots everywhere. So here we go. If you're hanging around and watching my videos, you know already that I use my jeans, I use my heritage clothing for actual work. You know, when I'm in my yard, working on my Harleys, working on my uh, Jeeps, or just working, period. So that's no different with a brand new pair of jeans or a brand new pair of boots. I want to test it out if it's realistic to use it in my yard, use it to work and these things that I work in my yard for and then go out and look good you know cruising around or going to public going to the commissary and things like that so the Iron Heart 666S is termed the devil's denim um, and I've always wondered what it is right you know here in my video during my first wear I didn't mean to really compare it with the Brave Star 21.5 but I couldn't help put it side by side because they're almost the same weight. Taking it out of the box is a great experience in my opinion because I was expecting it to be really hard. I was expecting it to be really stiff, like, not to compare it in this video, but this is the 21.5 uh, ounces from Braveheart. And that is so much more smoother for some reason. You know, just the material is much more smoother it's not as stiff so in my, my opinion putting it on will be much easier um, if you've seen my 21.5 breaking out and putting it on the first time I had a hard time 21.5 21 ounce you know on the iron heart same weight but different feel different material so uh, very surprised by that so why am I filming myself uh, putting this on? Well, I want this video to be as realistic as possible, guys. And only way is to take you to the ride of me putting it on for the very first time. So please don't mind the nakedness here. I will be pairing it with this today. And you'll see me on other parts of this video wearing that outside. So putting on the Ironheart 21 ounce extra heavy denim. Here we go. I know already that this is going to be tight, but like I said, I'm pleasantly surprised that it's much softer than the 21.5 Brave Star putting it on initially. As a reference, I'm about 210 pounds. My waist is truly is 34, uh, probably a little bit bigger, but I like to wear my pants lower than my actual belly. <laughs> uh, so right now my experience is that it's tight right here. It's tight. I mean, I can barely just put that up thing up there. This is gonna be worn low, so that's where it's gonna be. Again, this is a size 33, um, and measuring across, it's like 
16.75 or something like that. Uh, almost a 34, uh, but it is a 33. So I can still button it without any much, you know, struggle. It is tight, but I'm assuming that it will loosen up later on as I squat, walk around, and things like that. So. I'm excited. This is going to be nice, guys. I refuse to be one of those guys that uh, review denim, review salvage jeans inside a an apartment or inside a... Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not my style right now. I used to have a studio, but I got rid of that, as you can see. I like to... Uh, hey! So if you would pardon me if I'm all over the place uh, because I want to make the video on the go. Today's supposed to be like huge wave day, 40, 40 feet or something like that. So we're in Mokulia here in Hawaii, checking out the waves, but it doesn't look like it, guys. It doesn't look like it. Anyway, it's beautiful. <laughs> So if you go to ironheartamerica.com, the 21 ounce Ironheart um, 666S is $395. Now, is it worth that much amount of money to purchase a pair of jeans? Initially, right now, as I got it, yes, I would tell you yes. But before that, you know, I'm a cheap guy, so I don't normally spend more than a couple of hundred bucks on a pair of jeans. Uh, but again, to become a denim head, to become one of those guys that really say you own an iron heart, then I think it's worth the price, right? Just like my boots, you know, just like the Iron Ranger, just like the um, Maktos from Red Wings. These things aren't cheap, but are they worth it? Eh, I guess so, it is. Uh, that's kind of like a materialistic way to say it, but then you fall into a unique club, in my opinion, in which you're one of the few that own something like this, right? Now, that's not bragging or anything like that. I know most of you that watch this can afford that probably. So if you're waiting to buy it, just go buy it, I think, in my opinion. But I hope this video right here helps you make a decision whether you should get it or not. So what about the Ironheart 666S 21 ounce? that made me go buy it. <laughs> Sorry. According to Ironheart America, that this is where it all started for Ironheart, the 666S Devil's Fit jeans. It's a low to medium rise a uh, pair of jeans and uh, you know before I before I bought one I made sure that I got the right size because I didn't want to buy another pair of jeans this much anyways and get the wrong one I'll have to return it exchange it and go through all the it's just a hoopla so I made sure I had the right size according to the website they recommend that um, you would get something like an inch smaller than your actual size because it stretches about an inch. Uh, it's sanferized, so the jeans don't really kind of shrink, but it does stretch in the right areas. So one of my friends, Stephen, again, is to mention that, uh, told me, had commented in one of my videos that his actually stretch about an inch to an inch and a half around the waist, the groin area, and the thighs, which I'm hoping that's what ha what happened to me because right now this jeans is super tight, uh, but I can't wait for it to stretch out and actually fit me the right way, and I think I'll enjoy it. So let's talk a little bit about the details of the Ironheart 666S 21 ounce. It's made in Japan. It is made in Japan. Uh, we already talked about it being mid and mid or low rise jeans. It is a 21 ounce rope dyed indigo warp natural weft Japanese salvage jeans. I know that sounds kind of weird because it is weird to me. I am still learning all of these terms in regards to salvage jeans. So let me read you what that means, the warp and the weft. In weaving, 
the weft is the term for the thread or yarn which is drawn through the warp yarns to create cloth. Warp is the lengthwise or longitudinal thread in a roll, while weft is the transversal thread. A single thread of the weft causing the warp is called a pick. Some terms vary for different places, but that's what the definition of it is. If you understand that, good. If not, then you're, we're in the same boat, guys. I don't understand it. It is woven with a double twisted weft yarn. It has lined rear pockets, it has button flies and uh, hidden rivets. Belt loops are sewn into the waistband. Poly cotton and constructional stitching. Salvage side seams and fly construction. It is sand fries and one washed. The waist will stretch out approximately one inch with wear and the other dimensions will stretch out proportionally to the wear. So that is pretty much the details on the Ironheart jeans. But per my observation, again, going back to my first touch of the jeans, it is soft out of the box. It is not the same uh, material as the Brave Star, which is very hard, like cardboard almost. Uh, it was easier to put on, uh, not, as, not as tough to put on, and it was easy to wear on the, on the first day. I can already feel a little bit of a stretching because I tried to kind of squat on it, just natural movements, getting in and out of the car and things like that. So hopefully with a couple more wears, it'll fit right into where I need to fit in. As far as being it a heritage clothing, heritage pair of jeans or salvage denim, I can tell you that it is right up there. It is different from all the other denim or salvage jeans that I've experienced in the past. I like the slim straight uh, cut. Uh, one thing is that it really hugs my thighs, but then again, there's room for stretching. So I'm really hoping, like I said, that it would stretch and it would feel so right. The length is a 36, which is I think perfect for folding once to show off the salvage ID. It's perfect to wear. Today I wore it with my um, Red Wing Mokto Heritage Boots, six inch, 875s. The color of the uh, indigo, the dark indigo that's used in this pair of jeans goes well with the color of the Oro Legacy. So perfect guys. I can tell you that this is one hell of a pair of jeans. I can't wait to ride my motorcycles with it. Can't wait to show you more videos on how I style the Ironheart 666S. I have more adventures in the, in the future with Ironheart. I'm looking into other pairs of jeans that they have and hopefully I can afford that here soon, right? Also, my next video, and I'm hoping that the flathead jeans that I've ordered comes in as well, and I'll do a re review of that. There'll be more review of um, salvage jeans on this channel. Also, of course, you all know about my boots already. I love my boots. So for those of you that are maybe thinking that I should review other pairs of boots, just hang in there. When I get more money, then I'll be able to buy most of these boots and salvage jeans that I'm really dreaming about to do a review on. Um, none of these people or none of these companies have sponsored me. This is bought out of my own pocket, so you gotta be patient. I really do appreciate you supporting my channel. Thank you very much. Until next time, aloha.